I went back and looked at the, one of the original notebooks back in late of 2004 uh, when we met with the Wolf family about buying the Vikings. And they had some clear, specific goals that they laid out. And it's interesting how they kind of came up, they're coming out in order. You know, one was to develop and build a world-class franchise. And that really starts with the world-class people that we have here. And so I know we've accomplished that goal. The next thing that they said was really important at some part of time was that we were going to have to build a great stadium. We definitely did that. I think, personally, we have the best stadium in all of sports, in U.S. Bank Stadium. Uh, the third thing that they talked about uh, on that list of items was to host the Super Bowl. Because of hosting the Super Bowl, it really gives uh, a certain kind of professionalism and class and elegance to the location, especially in a quote-unquote cold weather city. And so to be able to hold Super Bowl 52 uh, earlier this year really was special. The next item that they did listed out was build a new world-class headquarters. And it seemed like so many years ago in 2004 when they talked about doing this, to see this come to life here is incredibly special. And then the fifth item on the list was to win a Lombardi Trophy. And so I'm holding firm on the fact that from the Wolf family's mouth to God's ear, that the order is falling into place. So right across the hall, you saw it, it's going to be the one of the, the hot areas in the building is the cryo chamber. Cryotherapy was invented in 1978 in Japan, came to the United States uh, after that, and uh, we have an electric-based uh, cryo chamber. So it is a it, it's a multi-chamber. So we could fit about four players, uh, maybe three if Limbaugh's in there, but typically four <laughs> players. Uh, in the chamber at once. The temperature in the chamber is minus, I, when I say this, I, I'm not misspeaking, minus 196 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, oh. so very cold. Obviously, you go in there with protection, footies, gloves, and a hat to cover your ears. Treatment time is anywhere from two and a half minutes to three and a half minutes. And we're looking for your body temperature, your skin temperature. We take a measurement before you go in, and then when you get out, we're looking for a drop uh, from about 35 to 50 degrees uh, in their skin temperature. I did it yesterday for the first time. It's cold. Uh, but you do feel invigorated when you get out. Uh, we spared no expense here, and that's a tribute to the support from ownership and uh, our general manager and head football coach as well. Uh, this is the major part of what we do and a foundation of what we do as well. Antimicrobial surfaces, including a Cambrian court space. And in addition to the locker room you see here, we've got an ancillary locker room available for tryout players. And behind me, you see on, on a cold Minnesota practice day, the players will come in and warm up around a couple fireplaces. <laughs> it's uh, 6,500 square feet. Winter Park was 4,700 4, square feet. Yard field, similar to what we had at Winter Park. Uh, square footage is a little bit bigger, so it's uh, almost 93,000 square foot. Uh, the biggest thing, like Rick mentioned earlier, is 98 foot clearance so that we have the ability to punt in here and not have to run down to the stadium or schedule around different things there. So it's going to be very, very functional for us. You'll also notice the hanging goalpost uprights. So those are retractable as well. If we're having some type of an event in here where we don't need them, we can pull them up and get them out of the way. But basically the, uh, the concept there is just player safety. If you don't have a post there to run into, why not eliminate it?